it's really pretty out. It's uh, I guess it's around 10 o'clock in the morning. We uh, had breakfast and kind of sat around camp for a little while and um, decided we'd go on a little hike. We left some of our gear back at the base camp and uh, you can see Tucker's ready to go. He's uh, ready to get moving. We're on this little service trail. No vehicles are, are allowed back here, but um, you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of tracks here. I guess that's where they come and refill. The, they have uh, wood here that you can buy for five dollars, which is really nice if you don't want to go do collect the wood in the area. They do not let you bring wood in here at Sky Meadows. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll touch base with you. We're going down. Um, we're going to jump on a trail. It's about two miles, and uh, we'll meet back with you in a little bit. All right, we're coming up on a scenic overlook up here. It's kind of nice. They put a little bench up here where you can hang out. I think Tucker and I are going to grab a little snack, drink a little water. But, uh, we'll have a seat up here, and I'll show you what this looks like. Somebody left their orange pills up here. Uh, Kermit, I thought, look. It's really pretty up here. You can see the little farmhouse and stuff down below. Tucker's crying in the background. He's ready to go this morning. He doesn't like to stop very much. Do you, Tuck? Sit. Good boy. Hey, Tuck. Watch me. Hey, Tuck. You can shake. You can show everybody your tricks. Huh? You can show everybody. <laughs> hey, Tuck. Tuck. Speak. Speak. He's not going to do it. We'll get some treats for him, and he will, though. This is the Snowden Manor. This is uh, kind of neat. Yeah. Not much left of it now. Come on. You can see the old side. It's really, really kind of cool. You can see maybe the old fireplace or something there. That's really awesome. You see Tucker, he uh, He's not having it. He's ready to go. He's all wrapped up. <laughs> hey, Tucker, come on. We're going this way. Hold on. Let me undo you. Hold on. Wait. Good boy. We are on the South Ridge Trail. I just made a pretty decent climb. We're going to take a break real quick. Oh, that's my finger. Anyway, this is the South Ridge. You see they have a little bench here. Amazing, amazing little view here. Wow, I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a couple of hawks up there or something. We're going, Tucker. Anyway, you see, he's he's not he's not gonna uh, tolerate this like standing around. So let's go, much much. Let's go. He's got to be moving. I need to create a Tucker cam for all you guys so you can see what he sees. Maybe I'll get all that stuff when I trade in that stupid GoPro. It's, uh, I tell you, it's not worth a dime. Here I am with my trusty iPhone. The last few videos that I've made has been on the iPhone, unless I'm inside. So when we're building our hammock, all of that was, we did all of that on our, basically on our uh, GoPro. Go figure, it's an adventure cam that you can't take outside or it doesn't work. Too cold, too bumpy, too something. I don't know, we're going to send it back. I can't believe they're using the thing in the Olympics. Can you imagine? <laughs> we're going to take this jump. Oh, wait a minute, the battery's loose. You know? <laughs> anyway, uh... Who knows, maybe they'll see this video and fix it. Uh, I'd be surprised if they don't know. Here we are, North Ridge Trail is 10 miles. All the trails are marked really well. You see the blazes, got okay, yellow blazes here. I don't know that I'm gonna go to the full uh, 10 miles. 
We might end up turning around. I just wanted to see what was up here. The Snowden Trail is just a little, uh, a little loop. But anyway, uh, I might go another mile up here and we'll turn around, pack up the remainder of our gear. Come on, Tucker, leave it. You know, there's a lot, I, I didn't see any. I heard a couple of coyotes last night. Uh, I had a feeling. I saw some, uh, some traces of them. Saw some, some footprints that looked kind of like coyote tracks with the nails that were pointing inward and uh, front paws larger than rear paws, that kind of stuff. And I uh, had a pretty good idea. Then I found scat that is pretty hairy. So uh, I'm guessing there's a few in the area anyway. They didn't bother, so I think they're pretty timid. I think one was close to camp last night and Tucker growled at it and it took off. <laughs> you got to be careful with that. He's a bigger dog. He, uh, Tucker weighs 80 pounds. You got to be careful with a dog that's, you know, a smaller dog. Uh, not here in Virginia, but in North Carolina, they've been known to, to take off with little dogs, especially if they're packed. Which, uh, I think in Virginia, they're, they're more of like really small packs or, or they're on their own. Anyway, uh, We'll see what's up here on the top of the ridge. I don't know that I'm going to go all the way to the Appalachian Trail, so uh, we'll touch base in a few. Guys, we made it to the top of the South Ridge Trail. Here we are. We're, we're at a three-way fork here. We have the North Ridge Trail here. Back to our camp ground. It looks like it's about a mile. And you'll see, uh, we went ahead and did the whole thing. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's uh, Appalachian Trail, 0.4 miles. So, um... I don't know if that's true. I think that's a fort because it's 14 miles earlier. Uh, so anyway, we're going to head back down this North Ridge Trail, jump on Gap Run, and then go back to our campground, pack up, and we'll be on our way out of here. We'll hump it out and get a little something to eat for lunch first. I know, he's ready to go. You see him. Hey, Tuck Tuck, say hi to everybody. That's his nickname. We call him Tuck Tuck. His, uh, his name's Tucker, though. Let's go, Tucker. There we go. Make sure I don't get my finger in the way. Boy, he's raring to go. You gotta be careful with this filming. And there's been a lot of traffic on the snow today, so it's slippery, Tucker. There you go, good boy. Be careful. I'm doing a lot of sliding. I'm glad I didn't walk up this way. <laughs> uh uh. Tuck, tuck. He's pulling away. Every step I'm like sliding big. <laughs> Just make sure I don't fall on a rock. A little rocky through here. I was gonna say earlier, they've marked this thing as as moderate. This trail actually they have is uh difficult. I can see that going up. It's pretty rocky and steep right here. Going down though, I'd still say this is a a moderate hike. It's uh it won't be so bad if there wasn't snow everywhere. You get an idea. Look at that, my, my fingers and everything. I didn't want to do that. I'm going to switch sides over here. Hopefully I can edit that out a little bit. Tucker is a beast, let me tell you. He loves this stuff. This is the first time he went out on a, on a camping trip, especially packing his own bags. He's empty now. He's, uh... He packed up about two quarts of water on our thing, but uh, he drank it all. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, be careful with dogs, especially in the wintertime. You don't think about it because you're cold or whatever, but if they get dehydrated, they die. You can't rehydrate them, so uh, I can be rehydrated, and it's only a day. So I let him have my a lot, about half of my water. He, uh, he really needed it. So anyway, um, you'll see this trail is a little bit better. I um, feel like you're in the woods. <laughs> and it's marked really well. You see the blue blazes here. Um, that's really a good thing. It's, uh, you know, I've been on some trails where you don't know you're on the right one after a little while. Isn't that right, Tucker? Oh, 
All right, that's it for now. We uh, stop recording for a second. We have a little bit of a hill here. Pucker, slow. See, he's good about that. Careful, careful. Good boy. I tell you, he's really learning this thing about being careful. He'll slow down, speed up, mush, mush. He knows to go faster. So he's learning the language. He'll pull me when I mush, tell him to slow down or be careful. He'll slow down. Careful, careful. See? Good boy, good boy. We got some beef jerky in his bag. He gets treats when he does really well. All right, uh. Well, Tucker, say bye to everybody. We, uh, you know, touch base again when we get back to our campsite. All right, guys, we're uh, on our way home. Another, like, wonderful trip. Uh, Tucker's back there panting. He's uh, exhausted. What a wonderful, wonderful camping trip. I was kind of freaked out being out there um, all by myself. And, you know, it actually wasn't bad. If you get the chance to do Sky Meadows, uh, and it's one of your first ones, it's... There's a lot of amenities you don't have with your back, your backcountry camping or whatever that uh, this place offers. So you get to hike in like normal, like if you're doing something like the Appalachian Trail, but you have pads for tents and that sort of stuff so that you get a, a decent lay and you're not worried about unlevel ground. Of course, I'm a hammock guy. I can camp just about anywhere with our hammocks, but uh, anyway, great trip. Great trip, I recommend it for everybody. Um, out there that likes it, especially as a family thing. You hike in, spend the night, you share your gear, you won't have to hike in as much as we do. There it is. Everybody have a good evening and thanks for visiting our site.